to having it. Miss Reed, Miss Reed, can we have a meeting now? All right, I'll deal with it. I will deal with it. Either. Okay. All right. So let's go. We're gonna start this meeting. We're wasting time. All right. Okay, Ms. Reed. Ms. Reed, are we ready to start? Dr. Reed. Dr. Reed, are you ready to start? Yeah, we're ready. All right, thank you. Okay, good. All right, so we're going to start. We're going to start the meeting to provide information. As I said before, we're going to create what's called a committee advisory board, which will have people that are stakeholders in this community that are going to be part of this board with the provider to make sure that they oversee what happens in this shelter. I invited certain people. I invited certain people to participate in the board. All of us will, myself and all the electeds, to participate in the board so that we can oversee this. Everyone will have an opportunity to participate in this board. Anyone who wants to participate in this board is welcome to do so. Anyone. And we will take that information. That's why I asked Dr. Reed to participate. I asked Nilka Martell, who's back there, who's been well known in this community. Regardless of their position on the shelter, whether they're for it or not, I asked them to participate. I, I spoke with Reverend Smith. Beverly Roberts, these are people that have been in this community for a long time. Abu Shahid. I'm not, this is not their position on whether they're in favor of it or not. I ask them to participate. Whether they do or not is their choice. But we will have, and I'm problem with DHS, we will have, we will have an advisory board and we welcome all of you to participate on this advisory board. It's open to anyone who wants to participate. So now let's go over the meeting. I'm going to ask uh, Assemblywoman Reyes to speak first, and then we'll go to uh, Commissioner Reyes so she can continue the discussion. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. First, I want to welcome everybody here, and I know this is a very tense situation. But I urge you all to please listen first. Regardless of whether you agree or not, we cannot make informed decisions without information. And for me, it's my priority to make sure that everybody in this community has the information. And then you decide what you do with it. But please allow the stakeholders that we brought in here to give you the information. And some of the people that have been riling us up are people that have had a say in one form or another in the things that happen in this community. Your councilman's not here, but he sits in the city council every day. And is his input valued or not? Does he speak up for us? Or does he just create noise? And this isn't productive. This isn't productive. I understand that. But you, you guys are not there. The people are not no, there. You know why? Because we have a legislative calendar that is posted since 2018. Hold on a second. You guys are not elected to get a term. You haven't known that? You haven't elected to get a term. Sir. At the end of the day, it's real simple. We are no. your constituents. I absolutely agree. We, including me with the mouth, we are your constituents. Yes. And if this shelter goes through, at the end of the day,
Riling you up might not necessarily have your best interest at heart. We are